Games. I got a great buried treasure for you guys this week. This one's called Body Harvest, and it was developed by DMA Design for the Nintendo 64. It was the precursor, believe it or not, to what we got in Grand Theft Auto 3. This was that team's first foray into establishing a, a character-driven action game where you could hop into all kinds of different vehicles. The action took place all over different parts of the world. All different kinds of time periods are involved in the game, and they've got hundreds of different vehicles. You can jump into planes, you can drive bulldozers, you can drive trucks. Any vehicle you see in the game, you can jump into and, and mow stuff down with. There's an alien attack, all these creatures that are trying to harvest bodies, that's what they're trying to do. You gotta shoot those guys. They have little, little sort of alien buggy type creatures that come crawling out all over the place and they're really easy to kill. And then as you progress through the game, you get big boss creatures, big giant, with lots of really cool effects. The world design is really cool and the fact that you can jump in all these vehicles makes this game a ton of fun but what I encourage you guys to do is check this game out because it really leads up to where we're going with games now you know these games that uh, completely immerse you and allow you to get into anything that you want to and drive all over the place well this was one of the first of those kinds it's called Body Harvest for the N64 and it's definitely a buried treasure all right we're back we're talking now about Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc for the GameCube Although it's on every system yeah. known to man. Rayman 3. Rayman 3, that's yeah. right. It's, it's a video game. You like video games, right, Rayman? Yeah. That's video right. Games. Video games are great, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Okay, what'd you think of Rayman 3? Well, I mean, here's a creature with no arms, no legs. What the hell is up with that? That's his deal, man. That's that's what Rayman is all about. Right off the bat, I got right. a problem. You're presenting the evidence. No arms. You don't like it. He's got hands. He's got hands. And he's got those goofy shoes. He's got the big goofy shoes. But no legs. But, man, can this guy do a bunch of cool things. Well, he can spit his head like a propeller. What? He's out of control. The man who claims that you can make a chopper out of your hair. Make a chopper of your hair. <laughs> Sounds like someone's been eating paint chips again. So, you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm not into the whole Rayman thing, you know. I'm not, not going to go out and collect the Rayman action figure. Right. You know. How would they put the hands on a Rayman action figure? Well, they wouldn't. They would, they would just come with the characters. You just get them? Just get them. They'd be like in the plastic yeah. thing, all set up perfectly, and then you'd buy the toy and the hands would just, flop on there. You just hold them next to the guy. That'd be lame. Who's laying on his side because he doesn't have any legs <laughs> Too many of those. I, I have always loved the gameplay. I love the two. You're a Rayman, Rayman freak. I love Rayman. And I liked Rayman 3 a lot, but I gotta say, I was a little disappointed with oh, the game. It no. wasn't as good as Rayman 2. Really? The worlds aren't as big. I really? mean, you, you, cut, you get into them and See, it's. I just, like this one better. It looks better, and there's, there's lots of little activities to do, and I like all the power ups and stuff that you get, but the worlds are too tight. I like when you have a little bit of time to sort of like explore the environment and see, see I'm how the it, opposite. I, I, I like that stuff. I can't stand exploring that's the environment. Why, Just give me the stuff. That's why I love Mario and they Mario Sunshine. They this game more towards me. It's more bang, there's, there's a bit of action. They me We made this new Rayman game. <laughs> we want to know what you think. There you go. That's a bad French accent. You know one thing you can always expect you're going to get great out of Rayman, That's any right. Rayman game, is yep. the color. Yes, absolutely. Always the amazing colors of greens and the, yellows. The artists at Ubisoft are great, man. They, they, they really go take you on a psychedelic color trip on this one. I and love the, the voices. The, you like voices the voices are always the funniest in Rayman because well, this they is... always poke fun at themselves. Like some of the lines of dialogue, for example, are. Uh, who writes these lines? Yeah, that's you know, right. And, yeah. Uh, you know, you were a lot funnier in Rayman, too. Rayman, these guys are getting a bit ridiculous. I mean, they're not even good. I recognize them right away. It's a good game. It's just not up to par with Rayman 2, which I still think is the best Rayman game so far. I would I would still recommend the game, though. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Well, I, uh, I liked Rayman 3 better than Rayman 2. Right. Of course, that isn't saying much for me, but I'm giving it an 8. On the positive side, the graphics in this game are gorgeous. There's tons of activities and all kinds of cool new power-ups that Rayman can pick up. And the overall production values, including the voice acting and the music, are very good as well. On the negative side, if you aren't into little cute, buggy-eyed characters with no arms, you're probably not going to dig on this too much. The worlds and environments aren't as big as they were in Rayman 2. 
And if you're not into platform games, you're probably not going to like this one too much. Today on Judgment Day, we took a look at the King of Route 66 from Sega for the PlayStation 2. Now, there aren't that many trucking games available out there, so we'll win some bonus points there. But Tommy and I were really disappointed with this big rig racer. On the Xbox, we looked at Colin McRae Rally 3 from Codemasters. This is the most realistic rally racing game you can find, but you can't race together at the same time in multiplayer. What's up with that? On the GameCube, we looked at Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc. This is another gorgeous and extremely funny Rayman game, but the environments are quite a bit smaller than in Rayman 2. On the PC, we reviewed Freelancer. This is a blast of a space combat game, but things slow down a little too much when you get into the conversations. In hardware, Tommy and I reviewed the Laser Game Packs. These backpacks are pretty cool and they fit your systems perfectly, but if you don't travel that much, your 40 bucks could be better spent somewhere else. On the Game Boy Advance, I reviewed Crash Bandicoot Entranced. Vicarious Visions does it again. Crash is awesome on the Game Boy Advance. You get a minute where you drop off your load right. somewhere. You could have dropped your load somewhere. Yeah, you could yeah. drop a load there, right. you could drop a load here, and you only have a certain amount of time to drop your load. You know, I mean, that's fun. No? Yes? <laughs> Did you fart, Rayman? Did you fart? Yeah, I farted. Did you fart? Yeah. <laughs>